Glimmer in Mirror is a visually stunning metroidvania with some fun ideas like the addition of these spirits, but it's still in early access, so it's unfinished and there's a lot of room for improvement. You play as Shiro, a girl who enters a different world by touching a mirror, and together with her floating crown sidekick, she has to uncover the mystery behind this strange world. The story can have potential, but I have not seen enough of it to give an accurate opinion. Nevertheless, it still took me like 6 to 7 hours to finish this early access version, so there's a decent amount of content already. The gameplay is fine, I like the upgrades you will get along the way, but they aren't anything special. And the same goes for the combat. It's pretty basic but fun, and you can't spam your special attacks, so there is a small challenge to it. It's not really a difficult game, except for a few sections, but there is enough challenge to not lose interest. There are also these spirits that you can level up by just equipping them and they will give you different perks like a boost to your health or a chance to heal when you defeat an enemy for example. You mostly will get a new one from defeating bosses. But you can also collect these spirit seeds and four of them will give you the opportunity to hatch a random one. You have the possibility to equip more than one, but only if you manage to find and beat these hidden battle arenas. I thought it was a fun little addition, but their max level is level 3, so that's not a lot. And because of the lack of slots, you probably won't try them all out. What I liked the most about this game was the presentation, like the gorgeous visuals, the charming characters and the beautiful music. There's also a decent amount of exploration and a lot of items to collect. But it's pretty hard to keep track of all of it, because the map is not really helpful. Normally, you would see a clear map of the whole area in the Metroidvania, but not in this one. I really would prefer a better map, so backtracking and exploring isn't so time consuming and doesn't require so much memorization. There are also a few tiny technical bugs, like the music disappears sometimes, the save sound is really loud except for the first area, and some text boxes aren't translated yet. But despite all of this and this music puzzle that took me a really long time to solve, I still enjoyed my time with this one. I see a lot of potential, especially in the presentation of this game. You can see that the developers really care a lot about their game, so I hope this early access version will give them the feedback they need, so they can turn the final version of this game in an enjoyable and memorable metroidvania. So in general, Glimmer in Mirror really shines in the presentation. The game looks gorgeous, the environment is very detailed and interesting, and the story and the characters are really charming so far. The gameplay is simple but enjoyable. But what really needs some rework is the map, because it's really unclear where to find things and it makes backtracking less fun. I really hope the developers get a lot of feedback, so they can patch everything for the full release. I can't wait to see how the finished project will turn out, so I highly recommend everyone to play this early access version, so you can experience the potential this game has. Give the developers some love, because they really deserve it. So be ready to enter a beautiful world full of charming characters, great set pieces and interesting lore, 
that will make you excited for what's more to come.